All right, so hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Galaxies, I guess. Let me just uh, try and set the title for this. Let's Play Galaxies, I think you can do this. Let's Play Sam Tatham's Um Yeah, cool. I'll do the same for the topic. Let's put a subject. Galaxies. So that sets that for that. Um and then in my buffer I've still got the three two eight so I can know where I'm up to. So yeah, we've just done a programming stream. It's pretty successful. And now we're just fancy doing a game of Simon Tatham's Galaxies. So if you want to play along at home, I have just tweeted about it, so um, feel free to check my Twitter. Um, but if you don't have access to Twitter or whatever, then um, let me just give you a link to Simultaneous Galaxies. Simultaneous Galaxies. See the CPU's going over time here. I hope OBS is still actually collecting the various bits of stuff that it needs to collect. So yes. We're going to be solving this one here, which has this game ID, and here we have it. So, game ID. If I just copy link, copy link. Now, can I do this? Can I? Hmm, a bit. No, I don't think I can actually. Let me just let me get to it. Do this, and then if I actually do this, nope. Uh, hang on. Yes, I think I can do this, can't I actually? So here is the link to the game. Um, does that come through correctly? I'm not exactly sure. Um, but if you just want the ID, then we also could give you that. I'd go to here. Now, is that actually the whole ID? I don't think it is. Because we've got 50 by 15. I think I need to. Let it all, don't I? Like triple clicking. Or whatever. There we go. So, just the ID is that. Okay, and you can paste that into the website, uh, which is up, which is there. Um, yeah, so hopefully that's well, okay. So finally, let's just double check that we're actually going. Yeah, we're going for four minutes already. Uh, the audio is still going through, the webcam is still on. So let's go for it. So I think he has some instructions, doesn't he, on the, on the website? Not exactly sure where the instructions are here. Maybe. No. Yeah, there's no instructions here, so I'm not exactly sure how I learned how to play this game. Because I doubt I actually used the website very much. But here we are, I'll just read through this, just to give us an intro to the game. So what you do is you draw lines along grid edges, so as to divide the grid up into connected regions of squares. Every region should have two-way rotational symmetry, should contain exactly one dot which is in its centre, and should contain no lines separating two of its own squares from each other. A region satisfy satisfying all of these requirements will be automatically highlighted. 
click on a grid edge to add or remove a line. Right click on a dot and drag the mouse to place an arrow in a grid square pointing to that dot to indicate that you think that square must belong in the same region as that dot. Right click an existing arrow to move it or drop it off the edge of the grid to remove it. So there we go, that's, that's it. Um, so yeah, some strategies for doing it. So we're talking about rotational symmetry here, right? It's got to be two-way rotational symmetry, at least. It could be four-way rotational symmetry. Uh, four-way rotational symmetry basically means something like um, like this would would classify as four-way rotational symmetry because you can like pick it up and rotate it. You know, there's like four ways that it can fit. Um, if you've got two-way two rotational symmetry, then you've got something that looks a little something like this. Okay, so you've got the original thing, and then you can like rotate it through 180 degrees, and you've got another kind of uh, another way that it kind of like fits into that same area. Okay. So basically what that means for you in terms of strategy is, is that if um, if a region can extend in one direction, then it can also extend in the opposite direction. You need to bear in mind the rotation, so it could be offset from the center. Um, but um, we'll get to that. I mean, essentially what you're doing is you're basically like flipping flipping the axes of both things. Uh, and we'll probably see that happening as we solve this. Um, but the corresponding thing is if um, if it extends in one direction and it extends in another, the corresponding thing is that if it doesn't extend in that direction, it also doesn't extend in the other direction. So let's start off how I always start off, um, except in, I'm going to do it step by step, so I'm not going to actually do exactly how I start off, because there's a couple of bits to it. Um, I start off by going around the edges and wherever there's something that is actually on the edge um, you can actually say that the um, well I'll just, I'll just do one here you can see here that this is directly uh, next to the edge so because this doesn't um, extend upwards to there you know that it can't extend upwards you also know that it can't extend downwards. So you can just start off by putting that there. Now, um, you can also say, now that you've put this line here, this person has all also got that problem here, so that can't extend upwards. So we can say that it can't extend downwards, and this person also now has that. Can't go up, so it can't go down either. So I'm just going to go around the edges, uh, doing that basically. <coughs> okay. Same again there. Now here we've got an interesting one. We've got the rotational symmetry part of it. So remember, you're flipping the flipping the edges of it. Um, so here we know that this person can't. You know, this person can't extend to the left from here, so that means that it can't extend to the right from here. Okay. So let's just keep going. Again we've got this scenario here, um, so you just need to flip the axis, so we're, we're talking about um, the corresponding thing to this is this one, and because this is at the bottom, you flip it and you say this is the top, it can't extend out to the top. Now I usually don't actually bother with the arrows on the same thing, so I won't actually keep that. Uh, we'll just continue on. This is in the corner, so you can do both ways, and you've now got like an actual region because it's in the corner, which is kind of cool. And also this one here now, it's got 
like two sets of corners, but it can't extend. So you can just fill in that whole thing. Uh, here again, we've got this situation. There's just one. Here we've got another corner. Here we've got this. Uh, and I think that is it. I think that's it for the for the edges. Okay. So you remember another rule was you can only have one dot per region. So what that means for you <coughs> is that if you've got adjoining dots, they must be in separate regions. So we've already kind of had that happening here, but we've managed to fill them in because of that rule of if it's got a, if it can't extend in one direction, it also can't extend the other one. We're now going to introduce the other rule, which is that you can't have two, you can't have two things in the same region. So I'm just going to go round and deal with them. So here you can see that these two are next to each other. So you get this sort of thing going on here. Uh, and once you've got this here, that gives you that. And once you've got that there, that gives you that. So you've got another, another region sorted out there, which is kind of nice. Here you've got this. So these need to be split up. Um, split up these guys. This is always nice as well. When you've got this sort of a thing, they sort of, uh, it gives all the all the ways around without having four dots all the way around. Uh, so that's, that's kind of cool. And we'll just continue around. Do, do, do. And I think that is our lot. Take a quick look at this one here. Uh, no, that's not one. So yeah, I think that is it. I think that's everyone who we can do at the moment. So that's the way that I tend to start. I tend to start by just going through, going around borders, and going through the things that are adjoined to one another. So now we're into sort of arguing whether or not, or it's not really arguing, it's, it's proving whether or not something, it's proving whether or not a, a square can be respons um, the responsibility of one dot or another. Uh, so basically like what, you, what you're doing here is like you're just eyeballing you're just eyeballing the board and just sort of deciding what, to, what can be responsible for what. So up here, right, let's go back to a corner. We can say here that this could be responsible, th this square could be part of this dot, but it could also be part of this dot. It could probably also be part of this as well. Yeah, I don't know. We're talking about the top one. Yeah, so, so this dot, this square here could be part of this, and it could be part of this. This square could be part of this, and it could be part of this. And this square here could be part of this, and it could be part of this. But this square right down here, it can't be part of, it can't be part of this, because it'll, the other half would be off the board. It can't be part of this because the other half would be off the board. It could be part of this. And the only people it could be part of are these three because there's no path through <laughs> to that square for any other dot. So we can now say that is part of this, which is kind of cool. We've kind of, uh, we've made a bit of, bit of progress. So now let's have a look for some other things. I'm wondering about this dot here, this square. Could that square be part of anything? Yeah, it could be part of that. And this, probably not this, yeah, not that. How about this one? 
slightly yeah worried about this oh no because that okay so here we go I think we might be able to fill that one in so I'm just going through just testing the thing just to see what the kind of route through is and I reckon that this can only be part of that dot so you know from the right hand side this one it can't be that because there's no path through so even though even though that square is vacant you see that in order for this to actually get down to here it would have to pass through that person there which you can't have happening so that would be invalid this one here it's looking pretty um, sketchy until you get right down to the bottom and then you can see that in order for this in order for, for this square to be part of this dot this square would also need to be part of that dot but it can't be because it's um, it's part of this dot here so that cannot be part of that and then the other ones we've got in the mix are sort of this dot here and there's no route through to that dot no route through to that square for that similarly that there's no route through for that so that has proved for us that this must be that so that gives us those two because we've got this square we know about and the other edges that are filled in are the bottom and the right hand so that means that we flip those axes to give us the top and the left and then in giving us the top here we've got another thing here that we can fill in so that's kind of nice now can we do any more I don't think we can do anything there can we fill now this can they, can we, I think we can, might be able to fill that in actually yeah we can yeah so the only people who are able to participate in this yeah the only people who can participate in this really talking about this square right here um, obviously this one can participate in it this one potentially but no because it um, it would give us that problem whereby it's, uh, the corresponding square wouldn't be available to us and similarly that there's no route through to that square without passing through another kind of occupied square so this seems like it probably would be and also we know that we can discount stuff from above because in order to get to that square from above we would need to kind of like intersect well there's no way to go diagonally for a start so that that's off the table but also we'll probably see that in, in, in more things but we can say that that is like that okay so now we're sort of filling in this could this be part of more people than this that's basically the question now let's just see if we can go up where we can yeah I don't think this is going to be part of anyone either that's not part of that now this yeah that could actually be part of that so so we can't actually we can't prove that that is we can't prove that this square is part of this yet so we'll have to leave that be for now now what do we have this thing here what's this all about that was just like a misclick I think let's have a look now let's have a look at this square up here so I can't be part of that it can't be part of this because this is um, there's no route through to that square yeah there's no route through from that square to that square and then similarly this one oh there is a there is actually a route through here for this so yeah technically this could be part of this square this square sorry this square up here the top right could be 
part of this dot right here. So yeah, we can't actually we can't say um, where that belongs just yet. How about this square here? Because remember, the rule was that you can't have um, you can't have a line kind of like in the middle of somebody's um, region. So it can't be part of this. Obviously it can be part of that because you can sort of see this can't be part of that because this would be inserting over here. This is a route through. There is no route through for that. There's no route through for this either. No, there isn't. I don't think there's a route through for this either. No. Because everything would have to come below below this guy here. And this is far too far to the right. So I think we can prove Yeah, I reckon we can prove that this square here is part of that. Which is lovely. And in proving that, we can also say pretty easily that this square here is part of this. Because it definitely can't be part of this because we've got this line right here. So it couldn't be in order for this in order for this this square and this square to be part of this, we would need to have a line between them. And one of the rules is that you can't have a line between them. This can't be that because it's like the other half is off the grid. And the only way through would be, I mean, I guess technically, actually, to be honest with you, there could be a route around it, I suppose. Yeah, but I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I mean, you can have some fiendish ones where they like, they do loop around. Um, but I think I can reasonably confidently say that that is what that is going to be. So now that we've got that, we can probably have a look at this. Now, what could this be part of? I think I'm just seeing that it's just definitely going to be part of this one here. So you can kind of see that we've got the left and the right of this thing kind of blocked in. So that gives us the right and the left of this. Now, here, this could be... Oh, also, because uh, we've got that and this, these two also need to be part of that, which gives us that. So that might be all we can definitely say around this neck of the woods. Yeah, I don't think we can say anything definite about anyone else. Oh, yeah, okay, so now that we've got this, we've got this here. Ah, uh, yeah, and this is kind of cool. So, oh, yeah, that could have just, sorry, that, this could have been filled in ages ago. Because this is one of those things that are just, they've got uh, dots ne right next to each other. So, yeah, we could have had that a bit ago. Let's have a look at this square now. I mean, I'm pretty inclined to say that this is just going to be straight up that, but let's just check first. Ah, no, it could be that. Yeah, because there's a route through. So yeah, we can't prove that this is part of this yet. How about... How about this square? So it can't be that, because that would start to interfere with that one over there. And there's no route 
through for this person. So I'm inclined to say, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm inclined to say that this is part of that. Okay, so we've got the right at the bottom here, which gives us the left and the top here. And because we know that this is part of this, that says that there must be a line here to separate this region down here from this person's region. So that gives us that. Uh, and then giving us that top thing gives us the bottom around here. Now, how about how about this dot here, this this square? Yeah, I think I think there's no route for anyone to get to there other than this thing. Let's just door check. Yeah. So I reckon this is this. Yeah, and you can also, by the way, it's, you can reduce your search space here, by the way. By saying that nobody below you could be getting there. Like, this would have no chance of getting there, I don't think. Oh, actually, I suppose it could, actually. <laughs> but they couldn't take a direct route here. So I suppose that's one of the things you're sort of looking for. You know, like this. In order for this to get to there, it'd have to go do this great big route. But you can sort of see out of the corner of your eye that this area down here, the bottom right, is kind of congested. It, it would have no chance of getting through. So I reckon it's just that. So we've got the right and the bottom, left and top. And now we've got the bottom here. Gives us the top there. So there we have that. Now, can we say anything about these things up down here? I think I think these could still be part of this. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go on, let's have a look at some more, some more areas. Okay, so this here, it couldn't be that because of that. This wouldn't really have a route through because it'd have to go through that. Now this itself, yeah, actually it could be that, couldn't it? So yeah, I think we can't say just yet. This could be part, yeah. This square here could be part of a few people. How about this square down here? Actually, this could be part of that. Yeah. And that. This square here. This looks like it could be promising. So obviously this can't be part of this because you've got this line here. Can't be part of this because it would be intersecting with this other person's thing here. It couldn't be this because this is already off the board. It's looking like it's probably this actually. It couldn't be this because it would need to 
there's no route through for the other things. So let's just look a bit further afield. No, it can't be that. And yeah, these guys are too too low down. Just check this. Yeah, there's no route through for that. So I think we've determined, haven't we? That this line here, this square, <laughs> believe it or not, is actually part of this dot here. So this is kind of cool. This is going to give us a few more things so we can kind of determine. Because we know that this square is part of this, and we know that there's a dot here, we know that there must be that there. So that's gonna that's gonna give us a thing. And here, there's only one route out of this little enclosure, and that is to here. So that's going to give us that. We've got this on the right hand side. Sorry, this on the left. So it's gonna be here. The corresponding thing is gonna be on the right hand side. And we've got this little dude here, which is going to give us that. So we get all of this from that one little insight. So now I could probably also say that. Can we say? Yeah, I reckon we can say that this square is part of this now. Let me just see. Because that, that, that would interfere with that other person. And this would be the, only per the other person in the mix. And it couldn't be anybody else because in order for it to be anybody else they would need to either pass through this or they'd need to like plow <laughs> plow a furrow through well between between these uh, and you can't do that so we can safely say that, that is that now a further thing here we can say there's only, another, there's only one route out of this little enclosure, which is to here. So we know that this must be part of that. And now that we've got that, we've got like the left here, so we've got the right over here. So this is looking kind of cool. And another thing we can say also, Remember what I just said about stuff ploughing through people's furrows? Well, this square right here is a prime example of that. So you can see like here, we've got this square down here and up, kind of like north, north of it, we've got the other one. This square right here could be a part of this probably also be a part of this as well actually yeah no it can't but it, it could be a part of this or it could be a part of that but if we look at its corresponding neighbor down here we can see that this can't be part of this because it's going to put the other half off, off the table and for anybody else to be there they would have to penetrate the this thing here so we know that that must be like that which is going to give us that We do potentially have a shape here. That can't be that. Could be part of that. Uh, this down here could be part of that, or it could be part of this. Yeah. So we can't actually complete that just at the moment. Could this be done now? Does have a no, it doesn't have a root. Yeah, okay, so this this thing here, I think it's part of that. Just doing a quick check. I mean, this would be funny if you can 
could technically get through. <laughs> no, there's no route through. There's no route for that. Or oh, that, that's off the board. Yeah. So this is going to be part of that. I don't think I don't think we can prove anything else just a moment Slightly dead endy here, so this can't be part of that. That can't that can't be part of that. What's this like? That could be part of this. So these three could be part of that. We found that this one here could be part of somebody else, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, so we can't actually say anything much more about any people down here. What's going on up here then? Like this this square here, can this be part of anything? Yeah. <laughs> Alright then, how about yeah, this one here could be part of that. This one. So this could be potentially doable. Nope. No, we still can't say anything about that. Hmm. Okay, it's so now just like looking for Possible avenues of attack. Ah, here we go. So, could have spotted this a while ago, actually. <laughs> so this, uh, these two could only be part of this or this, uh, and this can't actually go any further either because it'd be getting involved in that. So we know straight off the bat that that's part of that, uh, and that just you know just gives us that. So there, there, there we go. That's one, one more dealt with, and we've completed we got another thing here which we had for for a while ago hmm I wonder I wonder this thing down here I think that is that is probably part of this thing here. Yeah, let's say it, let's say that. Okay, this is kinda nice. So we've got obviously we've got that setting us up here. Uh, and then because we know this square is part of this, we can, again, just remember we can then separate this these things out. Um, and then now that we've got all of this, you can see this is enclosed on three edges, we've got this whole thing there, which is kind of cool. So can we, I think we can also then prove, now that we've filled this in, we can sort of see pretty easily. Now this, the tactic here is it's just narrowing down your search base basically. So this thing can only be the responsibility of that, this, or this. This it could be, probably. Yeah it can. This it couldn't be because there's no route through. 
can see that when you get down to here it couldn't go left because it couldn't go left at, at the top because it would um, it would interfere with somebody else down here and it couldn't go down at the bottom because it would interfere with this person up here and this is just too far away so it must be that so there's our little strategy for that and if we know that that is the case there there's only route one route out of here, which is to there. So we've got we've got this also. Can't we say anything about this thing here? Possibly be able to, yeah, we almost definitely can actually. So, yeah, possibly these two squares down here are the responsibility of the person who's got this, which is this guy. Let us double check that. So, there's no route for this person. And this one here, it couldn't be this because in order for it to be that, there would be that line you know, separating its area. And other people, in order for it to be other people, it would need to be going round. Yeah, and it can't, it couldn't be this because it would be penetrating other people. This is just too far. So yeah, I think we can provably say that these two must belong to this. So that is going to give us this. And this is going to give us this. And in giving us this over here, we've got this shape here. So there's another one ticked off. Now here, there's um, there's only one route out of here to here, which is this way. So we can say this, and then having got this, I think we can also say this actually. So we know all of this information, and now that we've got this up here, we can look at this and we can say. Okay, yeah, that could possibly be that, but it couldn't be this. So now that we've ruled out this dot as being responsible for this square, we know that this, this square must be, it must be this, this way around here. So we've got the right and the bottom, which gives us the left and the top. And then that gives us that. So that's lovely. And in having this, can we now say, yeah, we can now say that this is part of that. We still can't prove anything about anyone else. Uh, can we? Oh, apart from this one here. Ah, that's cool. So yeah, this square here must be the responsibility of this. Because the only other person it could be would, would be this. But they would be intersecting with this person up here. This would, is off the grid. And for anybody else to be responsible for it, they'd have to sneak through this row of lines, this row of arrows. So that gives us that. 
and remember the corresponding one down here was this, so we've got the right, this is the left, but with this we could have filled in also, because we've got the right and the bottom there, this is the left and the top, and then here we know that this must be part of this, so that gives us that. Uh, yeah, so that is that has kind of completed that, hasn't it? Now, what have we got? I still can't prove anything about this. Obviously, these we can't say anything we're definite about them. Or this, actually. So yeah, we can't actually fill that in. Still don't know about this, how about that. Ah oh, yeah, we could we do that. Ah oh, yeah, we could have done that a while ago, couldn't we? <laughs> so this top left, it can't be part of this because that would be intersecting with that. It can't be part of that because that would be intersecting with that, and nobody else can get through. So that must be this, which actually gives us that whole shape, which is nice. And then, since we've got this whole shape, we can say that that can't be that. So this must be that, which gives us that. Now, how about that over there? That could be part of a couple of people. say anything about these people I wonder so we'll, look we've got this here this square down these two squares could be part of it because the other sides are available but these couldn't be part of it so let's have a look at other people around this area like this. Oh shit. So all of those could be part of that. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> well, that gives the idea. How about this then? And I could put it there. Could be part of that. Couldn't be part of that. Ah, uh, couldn't be part of that. I think we're cooking on gas here. We're looking at this square here, aren't we? Can't, oh, it's got to be part of that. Can't be part of that. Can't be part of this. Can't be part of that because there's no actual route through. So I think it must be that. Crazy as it looks. So this could be potentially really, really helpful. I suppose the first thing I can I'd note is that now that we've got that, we can say that this little this little thing here must be part of that. So that's going to give us that, and that gives us that whole shape. And now we've got this all filled in, so that gives us that. So yeah, now we've got this sort of thing here, because there's only one route out of this line, this little enclosure. That must be part of that. That will give us this. What's on the other end of that? We know that that is part of this. That's going to separate these guys out. Oh, we also know that as well, actually. So that is going to give us all of this. We now know that this must be part of this because there's no route through. Now go for that. And we know that this must be part of this because there's only one route out of this enclosure. So that's going to give us that. And additionally, by the way, um, we've got like the top left and bottom 
there. So that's going to give us the bottom right and the top there. Here we've got the bottom and the top, which is the top and the bottom. And here we've got the bottom, so that'll give us the top there. Now, here's an interesting bit which we haven't really encountered yet. Um, this is like. We can prove that this square must be part of this because if any other square, if any other dot took responsibility for this square, uh, I'm not sure if that's, if that's possible actually. <laughs> But if they did, then they would be um, they would be dividing this person's area in two. So we know that this must be part of that. So we've got the left hand side there, and the right hand side here. Um, now, can we say anything about this this thing up here now? Yeah, we can. So the only people in the mix for sort of these three squares here are going to be this person here and this person here because we've got these arrows all pointing at these two people. This person it can't be because that would be intersecting with somebody else's area. So that we're going to get that there. So that'll give us that and it'll also give us this. Now, can we say, I think we might be able to say, well, first of all, before we go any further, we can say that that is all part of this. So that's just going to give us all of this. Now, I think there's no route through to this square for anybody else. We'll just double, well, don't need to double check because there's no route past this person here. There's no route past there because it's occupying this square. And it can't be that itself. So that must be this. Now, can we say any more about that? I don't think, I don't think we can, can say any more about that. But we can start to talk about like this square here. Sorry, this square down here. I think it's looking like this square must belong to that. But I will just double check it. Yeah, there's no roof for that. This guy, there's no roof for this either. That would be off the board. So that must be part of this, which is going to give us all of this lot. Now, this, this area here. So these two, we can say that they must be part of this because. They are, um, yeah, they're actually adjacent to, p to squares that must be part of this. So we can just straight off the bat say that that must be that, and this must be this. And we've also got all of this like filled in, so that must be that. Now, there's no route to this square for anybody other than this, so that must be that. That's going to give us all of this. Now could this be part of that? It couldn't be part of that. So that means that these two must be part of that. Which gives us that, which is lovely. Now what do we have? I believe this square here might be the next one to, to target. Couldn't be this couldn't be anybody else. It couldn't be this because this is adjacent to it. Couldn't be this because it's too just far too far away. So that must be that. And if that is if these two are you know if these are all like this, then we can say that, that must be that. Because for anything else to be responsible for this, they would be intersecting this person's thing. So that's going to give us that. And because we've got the top here, we've got the bottom here. Um, this 
can't be part of this because it's you know this is adjacent to that so that must be like that now we can talk about this maybe or this I think this square here is the next one. Oh, also that yeah okay yeah I think we basically finished this actually so these two squares here they can't be part of this because the other ha the other side of it would be off the board can't be part of this because they're adjacent well there's just no route through and it would need to be kind of like uh, kind of like folding back on itself and hitting a line that it would be within its own area this is just too far away so yeah we can say pretty confidently that this is how that is going to be now we can look at this square here can't be part of that because there's no root so that'll give us that oh we could have had that ages ago actually because we already had that so there we go it happens this square here can't be part of that because there's no root so that will give us this now this square here can't be part of this because it would intersect with this person up here so we can kind of clean that up there it's going to give us the bottom there and it's also going to give us the the right so it gives the left here oh we already kind of could have had that actually so now we can just kind of go around it's going to be like that that's going to be like this that's going to be like that this could be like that like this and then this square here can only be part of this little dude here so that is going to give us that and since you've got this and this then this must be part of that because anything else would have to intersect it and we've finished off like that and that's how you do that one so yay we succeed how long did that take exactly 56, 57 minute stream cool um, so yeah there you go, there was, there was some strategies for solving galaxies. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can recap what some of them were. So you had stuff like going around the edges. Um, you know that if a region could extend in one direction, it can extend in the other. If it can't extend in one direction, you know it can't extend in the other. Um, you know things that are adjacent so you know like these dots here are all next to each other so you can kind of just go through going just kind of like um, separating everybody off um, you've got stuff like um, if you've got two points like on a, a kind of near a like an edge where there's no route through for anyone then you know that kind of like there must be other bits that are part of that same region because for those for those squares to be part of somebody else that other person would have to be intersecting with our region um, Yeah, so I think that's probably about all I can recall. Um, but yeah, it's cool. It's a cool game. I enjoy playing it. Um, it's always a different one every time. Uh, unless you're particularly unlucky and get the same seed. But uh, I'm not sure that I've had that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little, little rundown. <laughs> And I think I'll uh, I'll call it a day there. So thank you very much for watching. And 
uh, the next stream will probably be next week sometime it'll be a practicing programming in C stream we'll be doing the user interface the um, the user input part of the program so yeah thank you very much and uh, farewell for now <laughs>